On day one at Imagination Station, we'll explore unseen things in the ocean to discover that God is a friend who's real. Sometimes people have a hard time believing God is real because they can't see God the same way they see friends and family around them. So we'll learn about a whole bunch of things in the ocean that are real, even though we can't see them. For the day one experiments, each child will use two items from the all new Imagination Station Crew Teaching Kit. You'll walk kids through what to do with clear, concise directions as you demonstrate. Imagination Station is where kids explore, experiment, test, try, and play. It's not where they just watch you demonstrate. Guide kids in your expectations, but also give them some freedom to test their own hypotheses. Let's get started. Here's what to do before kids arrive. First, assemble the echolocation tube. Each person will need his or her own tube since kids touch their mouths to these. Every crew has echolocation tubes in the crew teaching pack. Insert the tabs into the slots. Use the tighter slot so the tube is similar in size to a toilet paper tube, but this will be a whole lot cleaner, especially since kids touch their mouths to it. Next, we need to prep the echolocation gizmo. Start with a large plastic container. We used one that held pretzels. Cut a round hole in the side of each container. The hole should just fit an echolocation tube. Cut the mouth off a balloon, then throw away the mouthpiece. Stretch the remaining part of the balloon over the top opening of the plastic container. Here's a tip. If you find your balloons tearing, it may help to stretch them a bit before trying to put them on the container. Use rubber bands to secure the balloon over the mouth of the container. The size of your balloon and rubber band may vary depending on what size containers you used. We used 18 inch balloons and a three and a quarter inch rubber band for our snack container, which had a four inch opening. You'll create one of these for every crew that's in one rotation at a time. So if you have three crews at a time, you'll just need three that will get used in each rotation. During Imagination Station, crew leaders will sprinkle a little salt on the top of the stretched balloon. Now that we've prepared to explore the science of sound in the sea, let's dive in. Echolocation is a fancy word for making sounds and listening for where they bounce. God created lots of animals who use this amazing way of finding food or friends. We're going to see what sound does to this container. Put your tube in the hole. You can hum, talk, sing, or squeak. Watch the top of the container as I try. I'm gonna have my crew friend Sharon come lend me a hand in holding the echolocation device. Hum, hum. Sing! Oh, Shannon, it's just <laughs> moving on top. It's so cool. Kids will take turns doing this with their own tubes. That way, each person gets to see the impact of those invisible sound waves. We can't see the sound waves, but we sure can see what they do. That's a great reminder of the way we may not be able to see God, but we can see the amazing things He's doing all around us. Kids loved experimenting with different types of sounds, humming versus talking, speaking in different pitches, high and squeaky or low and deep, and using different volumes. Day one of Imagination Station has a second experiment that helps us explore what it means that God is a friend who's real. Let's experience what it means to believe that something is real. You'll need a container of super sand for your demo, for each rotation. Super sand can be found in the Imagination Station Crew Teaching Kit. You'll need your own crew teaching kit so you have the supplies to demonstrate and guide kids before they interact with the items in their kits. For each rotation, prepare a stack of three cups. Put one spoonful of super sand in one of the cups. Stack them like this for each rotation and you're ready to go. It's always a good idea to practice the cup pouring trick beforehand so you feel confident you can do it. You should have enough spoonfuls of super sand in your crew teaching kit to practice it once ahead of time. 
During the disappearing water section of the lesson, place your three cups in a line, making sure you know which one has the super sand. First, you'll demonstrate this experiment for kids like this. Okay friends, I'll pour some water into one of these cups. Then I'll move the cups around and you'll follow the movement to figure out which cup has the water. Pay attention. Which cup is the water in? Okay, you seem to believe pretty strongly it's in this one. Let's see. You were correct! All right, let's try again. Which cup is the water in? Sounds like you believe it's this one. Good job! All right, ready for one final round? Which cup is the water in? I'm hearing both for this one. Hmm, nothing's coming out. God is a friend who's real, and our water was real too. In fact, it's actually still inside this cup. Seeing the inside of the cup helped you believe the water was there. Then you'll give crews a chance to experiment with their own super sand from the crew teaching kit. Kids can't wait to get their hands on this incredible stuff. One final tip for the super sand. Don't let kids take it home. You'll want to dispose of it safely in the trash, not down a sink. These are your two unbelievably cool day one experiments.